Some of the toughest, meanest men on the NFL's crash course played linebacker. Keep it up, stick them, stick it down her ears. Pittsburgh's no, Bill Saul, number 50, fit the mold perfect. That 24 is a little <laughs> let's, let's wrap him. Ow. Even after the final gun sounded, Saul maintained his nasty disposition. Thank you. We're not allowed, boys. We're not allowed. Don't, don't, don't bug me. But Saul was a pussycat in comparison to the monstrous presence of Ray Nitschke. Wasn't a Jekyll Hyde presence. It was just Hyde. Uh, it was just total absence of any concern or compassion for another human being. During his 15 seasons with the Green Bay Packers, Nitschke proved that there was no room in a linebacker's personality for compassion. Nitschke played in a bloody rage, as did Chicago's Dick Butkus. Here we go, Andy. All right, we'll shift 44 to a 56 stack pop. Butkus was that rarity in professional sports, an athlete who attained legendary status during his career. Butkus would follow a man up in the stands and hit him. He would, he would follow him up in the tunnel in the Coliseum. I see him do it. You run out of bounds, he's gonna run right out with you. He honestly believed in the theory that, hey, if I can hit you hard enough, not only your hat will come off, but your head will come off. And he damn near tried to do that every time he hit somebody. I don't go to the movies too often, but uh, one particular movie that stands out in mind uh, it was uh, with Betty Davis. I think it was Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. I got kind of a charge when that head come rolling down the stairs. I kind of like to sit there and watch it, see things happen, and maybe uh, project those things happening on a football field, and not to me. He didn't like anybody with a different colored jersey. I mean, he really disliked you. You know, he he went after you like he he hated you from his old neighborhood. He was the meanest son of a I've ever seen in my life play professional football. Dick Butkus was the greatest linebacker who ever played pro football. But the first to bring notoriety to the position was the New York Giants' Sam Huff, number 70. He was the subject of a TV documentary that demonstrated to millions that the linebacker's world was a violent one. What do you do that for, 88? You do that one more time, 88, I'm going to sock you one. Now, don't do that. You run again, you get a broken nose. Don't do that. Hit me on the chin with your elbow. Today's linebacker still inhabits a violent world. And interestingly enough, the game's best also wears a Giants uniform. Hey, 88, I'm not going to warn you no more now. He is number 56, Lawrence Taylor. Listen, look, we got to rush him, we got to kick the... What we gotta do is get in and get the f so right, let's go. Come on now. Three and oh. Hey, we're a bunch of bad son of a just play some ball. I really feel a linebacker has the type of person who keeps the team together. The linebacker has to be somewhere in, in the middle. He has to be tough enough to play the run, graceful enough to play the pass, and mean enough to knock a runner out. Just knowing we have to go out there and play is good enough for me to get ready to play a game. You know, I enjoy it, and that's what I look forward to every Sunday is going out there and playing football. Taylor not only terrorizes opponents, Let's go he intimidates them. Yeah, 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 stick. Yeah, you mine. You mine, baby. He's got a relentless personality. He will stay on you, and he will stay after you. Hey, come on, baby. You can't pussyfoot up in there. You got to run it. You got to run it. Way to go, Carthorne. The more threatened he feels, the more competitive he becomes. If I don't get four sacks tonight against this summer, dog, God, you mind, Ryan, you mind. It's a confidence born of demonstrated ability. He thinks that he can will anything to happen on the field and for the most part it's true oh 
Jordan Ball, we can't play that stuff on here. Y'all gonna have to go to the other side. Lawrence Taylor is probably the best defensive player in the game, and you have to game plan to stop him. There's no doubt about it that, that he is that kind of player. You have to be ready to play against him. They grab him. They push him. They hold him. They double team him. And there are some who don't go by the book when trying to stop him. Leg with my in the sun. I'm gonna break his neck. He would try. Hey, Sula, you better hope I never get back in there. I will kick your. And Lawrence Taylor can make good on the threat. Go get up. You didn't have to do that. Hey, you just, hey, you just play, baby. Just play. He's changed the game of football. Uh, because he's just so dominating. It used to be that you put, say, well, our back block's him, and we go ahead and throw the pass. If you get a back block in Lawrence Taylor, you lose. You're going to lose a ball game, and it's been proven. He, he's beaten a lot of people. They start out blocking him with the back, and they move to a guard, and then they put the tackle on him. He runs over all of them, and he continues to run clear to the other side of the field and chase the play. You know, you expect the guy to dog it once in a while, you know? Uh, loaf from side to side, give up on a play, but he just does not do that. You really enjoy watching him play. I mean, he is a real joy to watch because the guy goes 150%. Like all great athletes, Taylor's playing style is a reflection of his personality. I play linebacker like my lifestyle is. You know, I'm pretty freewheeling, you may say, wild, abandoned, reckless, as the coach probably would say. Hey, baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs. Have some fun. This suits me pretty well, and I enjoy it. Taylor's enjoyment comes at the expense of those who don't have quite as much fun when he's on the field. Son, I got to do better than this. Players like Lawrence Taylor prove that pro football will always be a hitter's game. A game of guts and guile, played by men who deserve the respect and admiration of fans everywhere. These men put their bodies on the line in the most demanding contact sport there is to travel the rugged landscape that is the NFL's Crunch Course.